Hi, so this video is specially for the students who are appearing in the July August series and since my subject is math that's what I'm going to be talking about particularly so I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time and I finally found the time to do it so thing is the reason behind making this video is I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to tell you a strategy that can help you prepare for the July on the series and uh, what topics you need to focus on and stuff like that. So as far as what topics you guys need to focus on, I've done a detailed video on that on my YouTube channel. You guys can go check it out. Maybe uh, I'll, I'll attach a link next to this uh, in the description of this video or whatever. However, as far as the strategy part is concerned now, you guys, you guys need to understand one thing, okay? Know this once and for all, that no strategy, absolutely no strategy in the world will work unless you do. Unless you're not, until unless you're not willing to put in the hours, it's never gonna work, okay? So what you need to do is you need to sit down and have an honest discussion with yourself at where you stand right now. And the reason behind doing that is so that you can then decide the number of hours or you can then decide or plan out how exactly you're going to uh, use the what's the day today it's the 5th of july so use the remaining 20 25 days whatever it is that uh, i think the exam is on the 26th of july yeah. so you can use the remaining 21 days to be precise three weeks to uh, prepare for the upcoming exams and again i'm talking about math since that's what my subject is so there what you guys need to be doing is instead of looking out for the best strategies you just need to sit and put in some raw hours okay you need to look at the important topics and talk try and target that you're gonna cover at least two topics a day, at least two topics, okay? Then you you can do more. Now, the question is that where exactly do you start? Okay, so if, I, if I'm if i talking about, let's say, let's say, let's take an important paper two topic, okay? Let's say trigonometry. So what you guys can do is you start from the basics, okay? And this is something you need to do in a day, okay? So you need to be very, very careful with, uh, with your time, okay? And where you spend it. So you need to start from the basics, okay? There's plenty of content online, not just my channel, plenty of other YouTube channels also that can help you. And sit down with a pen and paper and start taking notes, okay? So let's say you're doing trigonometry, like I said, so you know, you start off with sine rule, cosine rule, keep taking notes, keep looking at the example questions. And uh, here's something that I always suggest my students is that once you're done, what you can do is you can go through a couple of full length examples, example videos of example questions, and then what you what you should do is to further reinforce those concepts. You can you can solve the very same question yourself without actually looking at the solution. So this way, not only will you be able to exercise your memory, but you'll also be able to instantly understand how to apply the concepts that you just learned. And then once you're done with that, you you do a couple of examples on your own. And this is something you need to do every day, every uh, not uh, every day for at least uh, six five, six hours, okay, if you're, if, I mean, I hope you're not starting right now, but if you are, then you need to do, you need to study for at least five to six hours a day, because you're not just going to be studying math, of course, you have other subjects to study also, so, long story short, do not focus on strategies, just put in the hours, okay, and productive hours, not just sitting in, or staring at your notebook, or uh, staring in front, uh, staring in front of the screen, just they have to be productive okay there you should be taking something away from that time that you're putting you should be getting something in return okay if you're not doing that then like i said you can have the best and the best strategies that are out there but they're not going to work because you yourself are not willing to do it so don't focus more on strategies focus more on putting in raw you know uh, raw hours and get something done basically start doing okay start setting yourself small goals like okay i'm gonna maybe not two topics maybe not three topics start from two topics or even one topic okay but the thing is get something done okay once you get something done once you get in the flow then you will be able you'll feel more motivated and you know there's something that i always say about motivation is that don't always count on motivation because if you do that if you're always going to be counting on motivation then some days you're going to be motivated some days you're not Okay. I mean, if I talk about myself, I'm not always motivated to make content, but it's something that I've just disciplined myself to do it over and over again. So you got to find the discipline more important. It's definitely more important than motivation. Okay. Like I said, you know, maybe three days of the week, you're going to be motivated, but what about the remaining four? Okay. You may or may not be motivated, but if you're disciplined enough, then you will definitely, definitely get something done. Even if you're not as motivated as you would like. So yeah. Uh, 
that's that's something I want to talk to you guys about. You guys can always reach out to me if you need any help. There is plenty of content that I've already put out, and there's plenty of content that I will inshallah be putting out there. So make sure that you uh, so don't don't miss out on that. And there's plenty of content that I'm making for Bright also these days. So if you guys haven't signed up, I'd strongly suggest that you do. So yeah, that's all for this video. See you guys very soon. Take care. Bye bye.